Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reactivating a copy of Windows 7. This is one of three computers on a family pack. On this machine I recently made some hardware changes and now it's asking me to reactivate and when I click activate it wants me to use the telephone option. This will be my first time reactivating a PC that's on one of three of a family pack. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, now I'm going to click use the automated phone system to activate. And it's going to pull up a phone number in a moment. Got to select the region, United States. Click next. Okay, we've got to call this dumb number. It's 1 Welcome to the Microsoft Product Activation Center. Are you at your computer with the activation window open? Yes. Okay, now take a look at your screen. I'll ask you to tell me the installation ID. They've changed the activation a little ID bit. ID is a long number broken into several groups. I'll ask when it reads it back to you, time. it'll be a little bit different. Please say or enter the digits in group one. One, seven, seven, two, six, four. All done. I always have to say the last group of numbers for it to work right. Well, I look that up. In order to verify the installation ID, please answer the following question. Please tell me how many computers have been installed with this copy of Windows. I'm sorry, but the end user license agreement for this product specifies certain conditions that must be met in order to utilize your license. Those conditions were not met when attempting to validate the installation ID you provided. Unfortunately, we cannot activate your product as you have installed this copy of Microsoft Windows on more than one computer. Your so, when you go to reactivate a family pack product, you need to specify that it's only been installed with one machine, even though you have three computers. So, we're going to redo this phone call and to specify that we've only used one computer. So, so if you've ever run into an issue where you had to reactivate your Microsoft product, even when you have a family pack with three computers activated and you're having to reactivate one of them, you must still say that you're only installing on one computer. So we'll go ahead and redo the phone call. And if we have to, we'll, call, we'll talk to somebody in India. Please say yes or no. Do you have the activation window open? For further Yes. Okay, now take a look at your screen. I'll ask you to tell me the installation ID. The installation ID is a long number broken into several groups. I'll ask you from one group at a time. Please say Just me talking it confuses it. Group one. Now, group A. Finally, the last group. One, seven, 
seven, two, six, four. This time I'll say one machine. One moment, please, while I look that up. In order to verify the installation ID, please answer the following question. Please tell me how many computers have been installed with this copy of Windows. One. Please wait while I submit the additional information you provided. Verify. See, it works that time. Now I will read the confirmation ID. You'll need to use your keyboard to enter it in the empty blocks you see near the bottom of your activation window. As I read each six-digit group, I'll say which block it goes in. Now use your mouse and position your cursor in block A. As you fill each block, your cursor will advance. Here's another portion block. that Microsoft has changed with the activation telephone thing. Confirmation ID back, you'll have the chance to hear it again. You can also say repeat to hear that block again. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Block A is three, one, four, three, zero, one. I didn't catch that. To hear the group again, say repeat that. Or you could say continue. For further instruction, continue. Help. Block B is two, seven, three, nine, zero, two. Block C is four, one, three, seven, four, six. Block H is zero, zero, two, 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 one. To hear the confirmation ID again, say start over. Otherwise, say I'm finished. I'm finished. Now click on the next button. If no error message appears, then you successfully activated your product. Did you get an error message? No. Great. Your product has been successfully activated. Thank you for calling Microsoft. Goodbye. So basically, let's review. When you go to activate a machine that is tied to a Windows 7 Home Premium Family Pack after doing some hardware upgrading or reinstalling the product on the machine, even though the license agreement allows for up to three machines to use the family pack, the Windows 7 activation system doesn't seem to have that in the machine, in their computer system. So, when you may have two or more copies of Windows installed with that family pack, in which I mean two or more computers, no less than, th I mean no more than three, when you go to reactivate one of them, be sure you always say you've only installed a copy of Windows on one machine. Because really the whole idea of this little catch here, where I ask you how many computers have been activated with the product, is because in the good old days, I mean, the majority of copies of Windows are still the same way, other than the Windows 7 family pack, three user more or less. You can only have one copy of Windows tied to one machine at a time. So this is more or less an error in Microsoft's part by not putting in an exception for copies of Windows Center, Windows 7 family packs which allow it to three users to be on one copy of Windows. So anyways, that's the new updates with the Windows 7 activation system. Well actually the activation system with all versions of Windows, XP and beyond. And the little thing you need to know when you activate reactivate more or less a copy of Windows 7 tied to a family pack. Anyways, had any questions or comments, let me know.